Welcome back, my lovelies. Now, we're going to fight the guardian of the capital. But, I'm going to show y'all how to cheese him. As well as, you know, in case I don't have enough mana to be able to fully cheese him, we'll finish him off like normal. So, but first we're gonna get a uh, whoa, yeah. So there's uh, some golems. Oh, and our best buddy should be down here too. Where is our- there he is! It's our buddy! Hello! Hello oh, you again, is he? Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab. Cooked up fresh. Faith, there's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the Dung Eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. He's a killer. Kills people. And curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses. To keep them cursed. Forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ain't never been more scared than either. Rooted to the bloody spot while he did that. To my friend. Alright, so ba -ba -ba, greatly. These are really, really, really good. I'm gonna buy ten of them for now. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you decide to do the Dung Eater's questline, his shop will no longer be available because the Dung Eater is going to kill him and curse him. If you release him. Never met so, so taste for keep that in trust. mind. You go. So let's go grab a Grace that's closer. Let's see here. Bear. Just be careful of the bears. If it fell down, I would laugh. But probably not going to. There. Cool. So, we're just grabbing this grace because it's closer. Just in case. Uh, let's actually rest to get the bear away. It was probably just stuck there. Wish, 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 wish. We. Now, if I can't, you know, cheese him, that is perfectly fine too. I will accept that and we will just keep going. There should be a. Now, how to get that statue there? There's a rune bear nearby. 
Just get the rune bear to break it. It'll be fine. This should take you right behind the golems. Whee! So there he is, a dragon version. So we're just gonna sneak around, be very careful, because you can draw his attention very, very, very easily. Let's see if he is still cheesable. So just wait for it to... Don't spam this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. So this is how you cheese him. And we'll be back when he's either almost dead or I run out of magic. One thing to do keep in mind is the more you do this, the longer it will take for him to become poisoned. So... Like, if you have to do it more than once, make sure the cloud is dissipated before you pop out another. Because that can cancel out your other cloud. So, just keep that in mind. And for anyone who's like, but why are you cheesing him? Why are you showing people how to do this? Why aren't you showing them how to fight them properly? Well, excuse me. I'm teaching you the easiest way to do it. Yes, for those of you who don't have the faith to do this... It's just like fighting the other tree sentinels, except he rains lightning from the from the sky. And we'll we'll probably see that because I'm probably gonna run out of magic. Also, you only need twelve faith to use this, so it's not a very high requirement. I'm debating if I want to use this guy's shield or not. I know it's a lot heavier, but it looks bone esque. I'll have to see how the fashion turns out for it. Like, you know, eh. And I know there's gonna be that one person where, like, why don't you fight him normally? Have you never done that before? Yes, yes I have, actually. I fought every single one of these bosses solo and legitimately. This is my fifth playthrough, no, sixth playthrough, because I'm finally getting the uh, Ronnie one to platinum it again. Not that it has anything to do with this, but either way. Um, I do have a stream playthrough that I want to do, but I might just kind of like push that off to the side because we're getting closer and closer to Shadow of the Erd Tree. And also, as I have specified before, this game will throw things at you and you want to throw whatever you can back. As a lot of, you know, Souls games, it asks you to get to the number four, as for example. It does not care how you get to the number four. It really doesn't. You could use whatever tools, summons, ashes of war, you know, uh, you know, this, cheesing, poison, scarlet rot. Don't let anyone ever, ever tell you you're playing the game wrong unless you're literally cheating your first playthrough. You have invincibility, you deal max damage, you know, you start off with a plus, you know, 10, 20 weapon. 25 is, uh, is max for normal, 10 is max for your, spe your sombers. Um, but, again, 
don't let anyone tell you that you're playing the game wrong. Ever. Unless you're legitimately cheating. So, and we're almost done. You know, let's, uh, let's actually finish him off. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't deal that much damage to him. Now, if you come here early, there will be a barrier here. Um, so you could still take him out, and boom. You just can't get through here unless you have two great runes. Bare minimum. However, there is another secret way... But it involves you doing Fia's questline, which you should be able to continue from here on out. Let's actually go grab... Let's go see if we can finish, or not finish, continue Fia's questline. Check on Fia. Fia! Oh, maybe I have what I need to level up. Spirit toning. No, I don't have. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter. Lay out your arms and. Nope, can't. But. You. You. Heck yeah! Darn. Can I? Oh, shiz. It actually is, uh, lighter. Wow. Um. Oh, does it? Mm, fashion wise, it doesn't look that good. Either way, well, it's lighter, so I we'll have that for now. To see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now that we're in the capital, now, come closer. Do you have something for me, Fia? You are so very. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'd like you to find it's a very all right day to you. now that dagger belongs to D yes and no D. Oh, hello. You've been busy weeding death root, I take it. I thank you. As your brother in arms. So what can I do for you? Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Alright, cool. 
Let's rest. D, where'd you go? We'll talk to D in just a second. Well, you, we're gonna send you to the plateau. I've decided to leave the round table hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. No, nah, we're fine. Order shine. I'm not gonna do his quest line. This door is now open. We're not gonna talk to him yet because we don't have our cursed seed bed. And now you see, we have some smithing stones. Not a lot, but they're there. And now this door is open. Hey, D! D E O. Oh. Hi, Fia. It is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. Well, darn. <laughs> Keep this armor on you, we're going to need it for another time. You can wear it if you want, but we gotta give we have to give it to somebody. Um as part of Fia's quest line. Kinda. Um Really? How does that look? Oh my gosh, that looks so stupid. Let's see here. There was another thing that I wanted to do real quick with y'all. Oh yeah. So... He should have left the round table already. Oi! There you are. Oh yeah, he's not past it, he's near it. Hello! Oh, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order. And its benevolent rays. Oh, and to you I... too. My sincerest thanks. Cool. May the golden order. Now he's trying to restore the golden order. I personally am not. So let's go say hello to Gold Mask. Rah! 
There we go. Now he's excited. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. May right. the golden order shine through. Now, that, the reason why I wanted to talk to them is because they will be at the capital ere long once we get farther in. But, but, like, comment, subscribe if you so choose to, my lovelies, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!